they had tears in their eyes and didn't want to leave. Isn't that the best testimony? This has been incredible. Probably the best month in my life. Imagine stepping in a place where the universe reveals its secrets. Science is something for everybody. We're all touched by science. CERN is a real source of inspiration for the future generations. This being said, the question which came up 10 years ago was how to bridge science and society. With the Director General at the time, Rolf Dieter Hoyer, who had this initial spark that we needed to do something more than we could already do to help other people benefit from that experience. And that was really the birth of the CERN and Society Foundation. My input was only a three-letter word. Yes, let's do it. The foundation opens for CERN a possibility to show the benefits the science brings to society. Coming here clarified so many misconceptions that you just couldn't address back at Pakistan. So that's how this experience is helping each and every one of us define our future careers. We want to empower all those who will come and also inspire them with the beauty, the usefulness and the values of science. The Rental Piano said this, one of the unique things about CERN is a, it's a place where people come to give not just to take. You have to work with so many different people from so many different specialized fields and always learning something new every day. It's, uh, it's the aspect of particle physics. You collaborate. The CERN and Society Foundation is built over three pillars. It attracts talents from all around the world into STEM careers. It catalyzes innovation for the benefits of all and inspires a wider audience. This is the first time that I've really been given the exposure to kind of that professional scientific setting. That having this experience here will allow me to bring my students this knowledge and show them how amazing science can be. Being here at CERN, working with these people and really understanding how the entire process works start to finish, that's something that's inspired me to perhaps continue doing particle physics, which I had never experienced before. So much art has been inspired, go all the way back to Leonardo da Vinci or Galileo. The science has inspired art and art has inspired science. CERN has been pioneering art and science for the last decade. For me, it's very important to approach these aspects through aesthetics because it can be the bridge between what is happening in science and society. All the encounters we had were mind-blowing. All the encounters we had presented us a perspective, a, a new theory, a new way of understanding reality. Another really important part is the medical applications of things that come out of the fundamental science that we do, those medical applications have changed thousands, millions of lives around the world, but we would not have had MRI scanners if we hadn't had that fundamental research going on in the physics world. Innovation from CERN brings a really meaningful change to the world at large. In an era in which society needs science more than ever, the laboratory's impact goes far beyond core physics research. I feel inspired by every experience here. Uh, these eight weeks only changed my whole life. What really touches me is the absolute amazement that they have at being here, the disbelief that they have made it, and the Senna Society Foundation has enabled that.